Hello there and welcome to another episode of uh, Marmar's uh, Tron's Revenge Campaign uh, where today we are going to be continuing on uh, with our with uh, the beginnings of our assault at uh, what's its name? Uh, the Core World so uh, today I'm going to be trying to get uh, Bunmasa his last Bathan Assault Cruiser uh, I also got another sub mod, which I think kind of fits the, the, the current campaign. Uh, we also have a wedge. Uh, wedge needs some boarding shells, but uh, I could hey, I could grow um, Nance and Sienza boarding shells for a few secs, uh, just because I kind of want to capture some of the uh, Empire of the Hand stuff. So I'm going to be doing that, I'm also going to try and uh, take some stuff from Talosia. So I'm going to grab the boarding shells here, and then I'm going to send them over to Wedge. Here's Wedge. So uh, we also have to take some of these core planets. And something which I want to do real quickly is try and get rid of one of those Imperial heroes. Uh, so I'm going to use this fleet, which I know isn't really the strongest, but considering Commoner it just has a few things, I think it's a, a good thing not to not wait and to start our attack. Because uh, otherwise they might bring more stuff and that could get messy real quickly. So I'm going to try that real quickly. Just so that we can have some uh, strategy here. And kind of put them where we want them. Rather than the other way around. So I'm going to be using my uh, CR-90 to kind of try and move them off guard. Uh, since it's quicker than the uh, Imperial Star Destroyers and especially the Allegiance. The Allegiance is the one I'm worried about the most and I think uh, I think just getting rid of him would be great. So which angle do we come from? Okay, we come like that. That's good to know. So I'm just going to make them follow the CR-90 until they are at a favorable angle. And we can kinda take one of them off guard. So I think this might be a, a good position for us to sort of start. So I'm going to start by bringing uh, Roger that. the Assault four. Frigates, because We're the Assault the Frigates aren't as expensive as some of the other stuff, and if he focuses fire on them, it's not going to be as big of an issue. Uh, although this guy is dying already. So I might just retreat. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think we can uh, continue this. To light speed. So I'm just going to try and retreat this. Uh, hopefully that guy doesn't die. Oh, down. his engine is down. That's that's a shame, but the other guys are alive. Which matter more than just a single other guy. It's, it's a loss, but it's not that bad considering uh, what could have been lost. So, uh, I think it might be better to just get the boarding shell there. That fleet really needs some more firepower. Let's hope it doesn't merge. Ah, uh, thank god it didn't. So, uh, there she is her boarding shell there. So, uh, let's see. The boarding shell over there is moving. What do you have? Uh, you have a few things. I think... It's uh, am I building some more ground units? I think I need to build ground units 
mostly here at build service because uh, this guy is cheaper here. I'm going to build some more boarding shows over here at uh, Celeste. Mm, I think I'm actually going to build one. Uh, how big, how expensive are man's computers here? Third. Yeah, I think I'm going to build an emancipator and what do you need? Mm, I think you're going to need a Corellian gunship. And uh, let me see up here. What do you have, Han Solo? You're lacking a few things, but you can capture some stuff from here. And I think that's what I'm going to make you to do. So, Kothis, do you are you able to build me stuff? Uh, Rothana, you are also not able to build me stuff. So I'm thinking I'm going to make these planets over here, some uh, ground unit production planets, and I'm also going to build up some of the defenses there. So let's see, right? I'm going to grab a uh, Han Solo's fleet. You need. You need some more CR90s. I'm going to give you at least three more. And it might be a great idea to give this this fleet an emancipator. But uh, I'm not going to do it yet. I could do it, but not yet. I don't think it's a good idea to do it yet. Now, uh, I actually want to build another fleet up there with the uh, at Mon Calamari just so we can start taking some of the free uh, oh all right we got some uh, some ground units and I'm not going to bother too much with trying to attack them all oh, right it's uh, Han Solo's fleet invasion well not invasion uh, you know what I mean it's a raid. Yes. We've located the enemy. So let's see what they have. They have a few big trees. Your orders, sir? Those are still pretty valuable. Right away. I um, they have what are you victory one? Victory two. Three one. Okay. I can get a victory one and a victory two if I am a, a bit. Uh, what's it called? If I know how to play it to my advantage. Corvette moving out. So let's see where they head out. Uh, what what angle do I come from? Choose your reinforcements. All right. Reinforcements cancelled. So they are bringing a singular corvette. I don't think that's going to be much issue for an escape frigate. Position. And I'm thinking on bringing a player sir. I could actually capture a gladiator. Squadron reporting. Standing by. Target confirmed. And I also have more fighters than them here, Ready so. We're going in. -wing squadron reporting. So who's going to come in first? What are you? Victory one. Okay. So I'm going to distract them up here, and I'm going to bring in just these two, so that they have some more firepower. While I'm going to bring in. You over here. Going to your coordinates. Just so that it can take some heat up. Uh, you're going to use your shield boost. You're also going to bring in uh, you here. You here. You here. And I'm going to say you here. Are you victory one? Victory two. Okay.
that's going to distract them and allow me to uh, Copy that, Admiral. get We're this moving. guy here. So let's see if we capture this ship. We didn't capture it, but that's fine. So we did capture it. So now let's go over there. Cruiser reporting. Thankfully, uh, they sent their support fleets over there, so those aren't going to be much of an issue. Uh, let me see if I capture this guy. Oh, I did capture it, right. So now I can start... Uh, no, that would be risky. I think it would be better to just bring these guys over here and uh, you here. Hopefully this will make them retreat. How many fighters do I have? I don't think I have enough fighters for what I carry. That's, that's kind of weird. So let me see. Y wings, X wings, and I want my uh, fighters. What well, no? Just my my Y wings. You guys. Y wings standing by. You guys can attack this guy. Starting my run. While uh, down here, what do we have? Ready X wings. You guys can do that. Squadron here. This can do that too. A wing here. You calling for me, sir? Weapons ready. I, just, I thought this fleet had more fighters than this. Your orders? Bombers at the ready. I might be mistaken. Changing course to intercept. I'm getting torn apart. Yes, sir. At your command. Sir, I've B uh, frigate here. Frigate yes, route. this healing ship is actually pretty useful because, well, he's, he has a small amount of hard points, but that's fixed now. Uh, I want you to stop. I want you to take this down. MCIDs are really good. Yes, 
If you guys could get me one of those, I would be thankful. One of those gladiators. No, I want you to... As long as one singular ship is alive, Hurry up, Jabba's waiting. I swear this, sh this fleet had way more fighters than it has. Okay, you guys are, you guys are going to be squad man, just so I remember where you are. Oh, they are retreating. There's no way we are going to get those gladiators. Yeah, there's no way. We still got two victories. A victory one and victory two. That's that's great, honestly. So, they retreated to Utapau. Kind of a great destination for them. Because uh, we are, uh, I'm going to try and send them to Talasia if I can. So if you, Mr. Solo, move back. Utpau, it's down here. So uh, I think they might be better off for Pledge. Oh, wait. How expensive are these guys? 33? Mm, how much do you need? Ah, yeah, they, they, you can have those. Especially for what I want you to do, Wedge. They are going to be pretty valuable for you. Flag speed. So, let me see if uh, Boom Massa is done. Huh? Yeah. He has, he has some stuff which he needs. So he's going to be going to Gindine. Right away. And this Tar Destroyer, you're going to go to Nance. Our first Vindicator. No, Emancipator, that's the one. So he gets an Emancipator. Which is a special uh, Star Destroyer. And I think it might be a better, a good idea to uh, move him over to Chardon. Chardon? I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, you still don't have those, uh, so... I'm going... Uh, yeah. Because Chardon is directly towards Indra. So let me see Ponder, can you build me this? Yeah, the fence station would be great for you. Construction complete. And I might have to take a Jack tool from the area authority. Reporting. Wait, did they reinforce this? Uh, they did. Oh, they reinforced you. Tactical battle. They reinforced you big time. But I don't think this, this is going to be that bad, considering we have the fire advantage. So, uh, who, who knows? There, there they, they are. are. Ready for action. Standing by. They have quite a lot of stuff.
just in case I'm going to uh... choose your reinforcements. Acknowledge. This map is already so it's hard to see where the stop is. Yes, sir. I copy, sir. So let's see what happens with this fleet. Okay, so they are leaving quite a lot of their support stuff. This would be a great position for the Locker Hulk. Okay, I'm going to be doing this. Reinforcements on route. Now, this may, this is a great idea because the Looker Hulk has guns all over it, but its firing radius for all of, their, of its guns are different. So uh, some of them are able to target this, some of them are about to target this, and the others are able to target those other things. So another thing which I'm going to be doing up here is I'm going to bring Detector there. Now that the, uh, the Looker Hulk is taking some of the fire, this is more of a capping the T strategy. So I'm going to bring the victory there. Coming about. And the Crimson Commander. Destination confirmed. Uh, this should be able to deal with this guy. Uh, so I'm going to bring in this guy there. Let's move this bucket. So something I want these guys to do is to immediately target the engine so that it can't turn around. Your orders? Taking the offensive. Yes, Commander. So I think it might be a good idea to start bringing these guys over here and maybe uh, this guy there. Along with him, with him. Also, one of these guys there, and one of these guys here. One there. Two there. Two there. He pr can provide some fire support, but that's not his main purpose. The same as that, which is more of a carrier for us. So his engines are going to go down pretty quickly. Ready for Reporting in. Ready for the engine system is down. You lost your engines. Ready to deliver. I need help. Open fire. Broadside cruiser reporting. I'll try and draw their fire. So, the way this positioning is done, the Looker Hulk is taking most of the heat. Okay, so this is starting to be thrown. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to send these guys to take the broadside, which is uh, a bit stronger now that we have uh, some stuff. And the B-Wings are going to take the victory, which is Outputting most of the damage while the Y wing, the X wings are going to be fire support. The uh, all of the C 95s, they are going to basically be interceptors, same as uh, T wing. 
well, uh, the Chirdaki, so also going to be Interceptors. Considering it's the Empire, I'm not that worried because our fighters are still better. So, as you may see, the Looker Hawk is basically killing off every single small ship which, while these guys are dealing with the bigger ship or the bigger threats. But uh, it's, it's a pretty laggy battle considering everything that's going on. The Tector is still pretty tanky, it's, it hasn't lost most of its guns. Same as the Invincible. Well, the Invincible hasn't lost any guns, and it's pretty tanky. So... The Looker Hulk is a pretty good ship at dealing with small stuff. While these ships are just great at dealing with the big stuff. Oh, take down it, his engines. That's going to be a great position for you to take down his engines. And he done it. You stay there. You're taking fire from the dreadnought. As you may see, the the, the Looker Falk isn't losing that many shields, and that's mostly because it's just killing off everything. So I think it might be. Uh, where's my senior parts? Uh, y wings. Uh, I need you to take the acclimator. Same as you, B wings. Uh, the acclimators are actually pretty decent. Like, and I'm not gonna lie, they are really, really good fighters. So I want my uh, X wings to start taking down some of the enemy fighters. So that's all I'm going to do for now. Well, this guy just basically deals with every single small ship. Yeah, this looker folk is going down. Where are you taking fire from? This guy. Yeah, the looker folk is just dealing with every single ship. So I think it might be a good idea to bring these guys up front. Same as these guys. Yeah, they, we are just dealing with every single ship that they have here. And we are taking down their shields pretty quickly. And I want their engines gone to be cut on the acclimators because I don't want them to retreat. So this battle is doing for going pretty well because just we are just able to deal with every single thing that they have. Uh. 
But both an assault cruisers are pretty weak, so this flank is a bit uh, weaker than the one we attack the uh, fucking the, the star destroyers at. So I want all my bombers to just target the. Oh, do I have? I just have two B wings now. So I'm going to take uh, my X wings and tell them to target the Validusha. It's as good as gone. Awaiting orders. Where are my B wings? Oh, I think I see them. There you go. You guys target the Validusha. Thankfully, we have pretty long range ships. I can't see him. Stay in attack formation. I'm in range. I've been hit. I've got my approach vector. All of these missiles that we have are able to just target ships from it. Pretty long ranges. able to deal with pretty much every single small ship that they have and their uh, star destroyers pretty handedly mostly because of the lucre hulk uh, some people might uh, might tell you that the lucre hulk is a bad ship however when you know how to use it appropriately and well you know what it's what its strengths are specifically it's a pretty pretty good ship do I have any more? Uh, no, I don't have any more viewings at all. So, uh, even though our fighters are dying, uh, no, these fighters are coming over here. These ships over here are really good at taking the, the fighters down. Particularly the B wings, the uh, the neutron star, and all of these. But I want uh, you guys. Oh, you guys are doing that, right? Oh, they are double squadron uh, Y wings, which is helping a bit with the lag, I think. So you may see these spiders are dying pretty quickly, mostly because we have uh, really good anti-fighter weapons from these ships over here. What are you? Oh, right. And even then, these small ships, they are dying really quickly. So I'm going to move these guys a bit further up so that they take some fire away. Because even if they are small ships, they are put outputting a lot of fire. I actually want every single fighter I have to target that. Roger that. Setting course. 
Yeah, as you can see, just this guy is able to pretty much obliterate the uh, shields by the time they arrive. Like, look at his shields go down. He's pretty much decimated by the time he arrives. That way we can deal with it pretty fast. And it just dies. I'm losing power. Oh fuck I can't hit oh, there it is. If uh, the shields of this thing go I up, I will ah. try and move it forward. Okay, I actually want all my fighters to target this guy. I'm in range. I'm going to try and see if I can outrange the Baledusha. If I had the Torpedo Sphere, this would have gone better because of the range. I switched the Torpedo Sphere for this fleet over the um, Tector any day. Can't you train shit? Got one. Uh, I need help here. Moving into attack position. Okay, now you can't train shit. Ready to deliver. Where are we headed? I bet this guy can totally outrange open. this. But just in case. Ready. Cruiser reporting. Reporting. Roger that. Oh god, he took his engines. Enemies in range. Okay. Awaiting orders. Frigate reporting. Cannons armed. Weapons armed. Yes, command. No. I want most everything else except for you. Your orders? Let's move this bucket. Roger that. I I I'm starting to don't like these type of structures. Gunship reporting. 
pressing the attack. Batteries online. Awaiting order. Where's the other other one? Assault frigate here. Attack! Fire! Modern Kalamari crew right here. All craft engaged. Awaiting your command. We've got them on scopes. Modern Kalamari frigate ready! Okay, everyone just stop. Weapons ready. Initiating attack. We're in attack position. You guys are idiots for moving too close moving to that. Standing by. Our lasers are inoperable. Oh, it's you. Yeah, the bad thing about this fleet is that we are just not strong to against dealing with these yes, kinds sir. of stuff. The ion cannons are our three lasers. Time to Target sighted. Disable those missile launchers. The missile launchers are the primary target. The missile launchers are the primary target. At your command. I can't see him. Ah! Disable those missile launchers. I can't see Attack. him. Ah. Fire. I can't see him. Ah. Uh, we are going to lose a few guys. I need help. Ah. It's mostly small stuff. Ah. Which we, which this ship already has too many of. I've got one on me. I got I've lost engine Bring two. It. Moving out. Scanner contact behind me. Why won't they run though? Look out! That's what I'm asking myself. In. The missile launchers are the primary target. Disable those missile launchers. Directing all fire of the missile launchers. This guy, the uh, bro the broadside cruiser is just MVP. Same as the bottom assault cruisers. Oh, thank God they are falling back. Yeah, this guy just died. The Baladusha is just so strong as a, of a space station. It's Jesus. It's it's amazing just how strong it is, honestly. Oh, we have enough credits to buy buy stuff at at Talos here. Yeah. So what I'm going to do here at Talos here is I'm going to build the um, boarding shuttle there. We'll service you. Alright, I was going to do this invasion. I hope it doesn't take too long because this, ep this episode might get too long. And I'm, I feel like I'm already extending a bit, extending a bit my uh, episodes of, in terms of length. Because I got recommended that like... 50 minutes is a lot of time. So... Here comes the big pickle. Oh, oh lord, it's lagging a bit. The big pickle.
our big pickle is going to uh, do this. Here comes our uh, Imperial Star Destroyer too. Uh, I really want you guys to suggest some names for this because I like look it's the merciless. I don't think that names that name fits. Here comes our emancipator. Heading to destination. The first in the line of new uh, New Republic Star Destroyers. It's the Allegiance. I don't think that name fits fits either, so uh, or victory. Or liberties. Uh, of course, on top, uh, the Dauntless, and I think it's time to bring uh, these guys here. There we go, we go over here, what do over here? Let's go. Orders received. Roger that. Underway. Of course, a rebel, a new republic fleet just isn't a new republic fleet without navy on this. Right away. <laughs> Moving out. Order for all next command. Closing on target. Sian is just a monster when it comes to shields. Like his shields won't go down no matter what. That's it. Scratch one pattern. Enemy unit disabled. So what fighters do we carry anyway? Oh we have the interceptors, that's that's quite interesting actually. So we have the we have a pretty big fighter advantage. Uh, you guys are half squad. Yeah. So my um, uh, Y wings, you guys are going to target this guy. Uh, oh, I have half squads of uh, bees. That's pretty interesting. And of course, I have a similar squad of uh, speed ray blast boats, and I have shielded ties. A singular squadron of shielded ties and one of bad uh, interceptors. I have five squadrons of half. Uh, I have five half squadrons of like A wings, which is like 2.5 squadrons. So I have in total 8.5 squadrons of A wings. That's that's still pretty crazy. So this guy just goes down like butter. That's got him. I've been hit. That's it. Scratch one. Look at look at our beautiful emancipator. Try not to let one on your tail. It looks like an uh ISD one. But it's a new a different beast. Well, we have an ISD-1, no, ISD-2, we have Liberties, we have Dauntless, we have uh, Assault Frigates, we even have like Nebulon Bees and Quasars, we, this fleet is pretty varied, I feel like it could be way more varied, honestly. Well, and just look at the XQ platform going down. I think I could just bring him in. Well, he's blocked. So I'm going to bring this guy here. I love, I love the, how this thing looks like. It's, it looks like an Imperial Star Destroyer, but 
Just look at the red. The red tells you everything you need to know. And it has pretty good long range too. It has uh, 800 shields. Or the uh, 8000 shield, 8000 hull. It has uh, 2 million turbos. It has 3.5 squadrons, it has 2 to 12 turbo lasers, 2 heavy dual turbo lasers, 6 medium turbo lasers, 2 heavy dual ion cannons, 6 medium ion cannons, 2 late dual laser cannons, 1 proton torpedo, of course it's boardable, but uh, well, it would be boardable by like Tron. Oh, just look at this Lancer frigate. These these guys stand no chance against the new class of uh, New Republic Star Destroyers. Of course, it's not the Republic class Star Destroyer because uh, we can't even get that one yet. Uh, just look at the just look at this guy like it's it, it's different than a star destroyer because it's I think it's more carrier focused just look how many squadrons of like fighters we get with this fleet Like just the A-Wings is enough to like terrify someone. Tie interceptor here. <laughs> you know I think it's just better for our fighters to like dog fight the enemy. While our bigger ships deal with the small lancers. You know I, I have always liked the design of the lancer. It looks kinda phallic, but it, I like phallic things. Oh, this was just an, an amazing battle with Shardon. <laughs> and like, next episode we are going to start like... Like, you know... Invading stuff like... Kuat. I, I really want to start to invade Kuat. Because uh, with Kuat, these emancipators could be produced for way cheaper. Same with like, uh, we could build when daily star drives at what? Once we get like the Republic Star Destroyer. Oh, who is this guy? Terran Roglis, uh, Luther Kerman, Malcolm Rushing. Where are they? Oh, they, they are a few jumps away from Nance. Hmm. But the guy you want to take down is like Leather Oakens and Blitzer. Oh, Blitzer Harks. I remember that guy. Didn't he like die by Dala originally? Oh, the Imperials are taking the uh, Havens. That's. Uh, I think I might try and take the Havens out once we I, like take control of these. Just so that we can start producing like battle dragons and nova cruisers and such. So let's so let's see. The uh, the the greater Maldrude is doing a, an amazing job at like taking the core and like they are they have done a pretty good job at cleaning up stuff like over here. Well, the death of Singe has been devastating on the on of course his faction. The Pentastar alignment is... I think it's losing some ground to like... No, it's not, it hasn't lost ground to like the... The Empire of the Hand. The Empire is just getting demolished by the Greater Maldrug. Well, since she... Since she has lost quite a lot of ground to like... The Empire. Like, 
they, they lost Cauldron Nebula, Olsha, Sereno. Ah, Seren I want to capture Sereno mostly because of the fact that Count Dooku was is from there. So you know, the Count Dooku sort of started the rebellion by his ideals and like the Confederacy of Independent Systems kind of dissolved into the rebellion so uh, that's going to be it for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i'll try to see you guys next time uh i'm sorry if i have been a bit slow with the videos but uh, i have been a bit occupied with stuff uh, of my personal life so uh, thank you everyone thanks and you for uh, supporting me on patreon uh, if you guys uh, support, can support me on patreon i will start uploading exclusive videos to the patreon once I, uh, I can consider this a full-time job. Uh, thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye everyone.